statue collector Lou here, guys, with another statue pickup and review. And there will also be a slight rant in this video as I got, as you can see, the wonderful uh, sideshow Wonder Woman PF. And whereas it's a beautiful piece, and I love it, and looking at it, it's just amazing, it does have a lot of issues. I mean, mine personally have two minor issues. I mean, one I guess you could call major, one minor. But they're more uh, headaches than anything, as nothing's wrong with the piece itself, and that you can't see anything wrong with it. So, well, um, we're going to be doing, a couple of us collectors who have got this piece, uh, next week we'll be having a live Wonder Woman quality control issue rant, and we're going to ask that anyone who has this piece and has gotten good ones or bad ones, we can have up to 10 guys on the video. So, you know, contact me if you want to be in it. I have two right now, and there'll be more added until we can have a full panel. And it's going to be everyone discussing what they like and don't like about the statue and what problems they did or didn't have. Now, as with mine, beautiful piece. She's number 1369 of 3500. It is the EX. As you can see, here's her other hand. However, first thing we're going to get to in the rant is putting the, sh the weapon on. Sideshow, for some reason, in their infinite wisdom, decided to go away from magnets and use these stupid pegs again. Now, when you try to slide your pieces in, the pegs don't slide in smoothly. So you have to really force them, and a lot of times people have been having them break. In my case, her uh, hand with the Spear went on perfect. Her headpiece was a little tough, but then it went on smoothly. And then the shield, forget about it. It took a lot of work to get it in. Uh, I got it 95% of the way on, and then it got jammed. So I was trying to get it further on, and then I heard a little, like, sound. And nothing was cracked on it, like an eggshell sound. Because another thing... Guess what? The shield's PVC. But anyway, as soon as I heard that, I said, the way it is now, you can't see any spacing on the front, and you can see a tiny, tiny drop on the back that no one's going to see, but I'm not risking moving my shield and breaking the piece. So that makes the EX piece null and void, because you'll never take that piece off once you get it on, because you'll risk damaging the piece. And you'll never be able to put it back in the box because you can't take the shield off. Or the hand, depending on which one you put on it. Now, that was one of my issues and another issue a friend of mine had. But that was the first thing. The second minor issue is on the fabric piece that should have been made of fabric, but Sideshow decided to make it sculpted. Uh, the paint job makes it look in one place as if it might have, you would think it was cracked and somebody glued it back on, but it wasn't because you can see on the other side it's not. Uh, it's just the way the paint spray application was done. So again, it's on a part you don't see. I'm not complaining because if I risk sending it back, there's a good chance I'm getting one in a lot worse condition because I've heard a lot of horror stories with this piece. So anyway, to get on with the good, she's approximately 25 inches, which means it'll be very hard to put her in a basta. She will fit with adjusting of the shelves, but it's going to be tough, and chances are she's taking up the whole basta because of the width of her spear. So it's going to make her take up more room than I wanted her to, but we can deal with that. The pose is beautiful. The sculpt is beautiful. On mine... There's really not too much issues with the paint job. I don't have smudges and things like other people have had with theirs. So I'm not going to complain. Um, I'll give you a pan around of her. Uh, the hair is amazingly done. I love everything about it. The way it flows, the sculpting. 
very scary because there's all little pieces and little tips that could break off. Thankfully, none did. Uh, love the costume and the way it's painted. Uh, I like the pose. I think it's very statuesque for this beautiful woman. Uh, and it's very Amazonian, which goes great with the pose and the character. So, all in all, I do like the piece. I give it a solid, I'd say 8.5 out of 10. And most of that is be, uh, that I took away from it is because of the shield issue. And also, and this is a problem with all the DC pieces in my opinion so far, what is with the ginormous bases? We don't need an 8 inch high base to put a huge statue on top of. This base could have easily been 4 inches tall and would have done the same problem without her being so high that it's hard to display. Same problem with Batman, same problem with Superman. Again, I didn't get their Green Lantern, but their Green Lantern, he actually, when you put him next to it, he, his body is smaller than the rest of the line, and he's on a big-ass base for no reason. Hence why I went with the DC Direct Green Lantern, which fits in perfect in scale with these. So, anyway, I love the piece. The lasso looks amazing. Her body sculpt is amazing. Uh, the weapons are amazing. A uh, pretty good paint app. There are slight issues here and there. Excellent shading. You can see the detail in the neck muscles and all the musculature on her. Her nose is very well done. The lips, she finally, they done a piece with a good eye paint job. So all in all, I love the piece and I'm happy with it other than the few issues. So guys, again, there's going to be that special video, so if you want to be a part of it, just leave me a PM or leave it in the response at the bottom, and I'll let you know exactly when the day it's, and time it's going to be. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you got one, what issues you had, or if you want to be in that video, what you think of her. Again, I love the interaction and seeing what other collectors have to say about it. So, guys, this is uh, Hero Statue Collector Lou out. Peace! Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at Heroic Sculptures and Twitter at Heroic Sculpture.